Welcome to spring. Spring is a time of growth and transformation. It's about taking risk and acceleration towards clear goals while staying supple and flexible. Spring is a time when we want to embody both energies, listening to what's coming our way and changing the course accordingly, and also know where we want to go, a break through our comfort zone. So courage, flexibility, yielding to what's coming up our way are the energy of the spring. Yeah, everything grows up from the ground up in the spring. The plants grow and also we are in Taoism as a reflection of the universe. We want to do the same at the same time. Spring is a time to be active, to be courageous, to break through boundaries into territories that we are dreaming about but we never uh, felt comfortable doing so, uh, is facing our fears and moving forward. In terms of our physical practice, spring would be more time when we are focused on the joints, the tendons and the ligaments. The liver energy in Chinese medicine governs the small muscles, the tendons and ligaments. And if you think about being in winter more solid, more stillness, and it's very cold outside, the first thing to come out of winter would be to lubricate the joints, to strengthen the, the areas where the qi gets stagnant, which is joints, tendon, muscle, warming up the joints is the first step of getting out of the winter stagnation. So anybody that experienced problem with joints or want to uh, increase mobility, the sequences for the spring would be really, really good. We're going to start this sequence with the five week of this movement called the butterfly gets out of its cocoon. And it's a silk reeling Qigong sequence to uh, get all the joint lubricated and moving while strengthening the body. So I hope you're going to enjoy this time. If you think about imbalanced liver energy or imbalanced spring is um, being more stiff and stubborn. <laughs> yeah, Being more stiff, if you look at the person that is more stiff or stubborn or angry, is very stiff, literally, also physically, very stiff joints. So the ability to be flexible, relaxed in our mind, in our heart, and also in our body is part of embodying that idea of a plant that grows towards the sun. But if this plant will be very stiff, it will break in the wind. So the ability to yield to life circumstances is the ability to be flexible, have flexible goal. Have you ever seen a river that grows in, goes in a straight line from point A to the, to the ocean? No, we, we only think that way. We want the easiest route to go from, one, from point A to point B, but there's no river that looks exactly like the other river in the world. And the reason for that is that because there's different topography in different places in the world, and then the river does this journey all the way to the ocean. So we say that the journey is part of the destination. So when we are not getting what we want, we're getting angry, or and we feel like our, we have our goals, but our environment does not support it, or we cannot get through, we're feeling very frustrated and angry. And instead, uh, in Taoism, we say, yield to the present moment, yield to what comes our way. If your river flows and there's a big boulder in front of you, you're not trying to go through it, but maybe go around it. So creativity and courage is the energy of the spring, is to be patient and persistent. Embodying both values of patient, which is more yin type of energy, and creative, and then persistent to get to where we want to go. So the journey is part of the destination, and uh, yielding to life is about being flexible, supple, and relaxed, and still be inspired by our goal or our destination that might change as we go through our journey. On a spiritual and energetic level and personal growth level, this is the message from traditional Chinese medicine, and I hope you can embrace it. 
And from a physical perspective, we're going to work with uh, more activation of the movement, a little bit more stronger movement. Um, of course, the days become longer, so it's more of a young type of energy. Uh, the vision, the inner vision would be very important in the, in the liver. The energy rise upwards in the spring, and that sometimes can cause headaches or problem with eyesight. Yeah, so we have all these movements in chi breaks that we're going to go through of how to release that energy that goes up, how to work with headaches, uh, and, and, and things like that. So welcome to spring. I'm looking forward to support you.